Shalom, brothers and sisters. Francis Macron was in Israel now. He proposes an anti-ISIS coalition that fights Hamas. French President Emmanuel Macron proposed on Tuesday that the international coalition currently fighting Islamic State in Iraq and Syria be widened to include the fight against the Palestinian terrorist group Hamas in Gaza. Speaking alongside Netanyahu in Jerusalem, Macron stressed that France and Israel shared terrorism as their common enemy, but gave little detail on how the US-led coalition of dozens of countries could be involved. France is ready for the international coalition against Daesh, in which we are taking part for operations in Iraq and Syria to also fight Hamas, he told reporters, referring to Islamic State and promising not to leave Israel alone. So, interesting. Again, one of the candidates, old Macron, and here he is trying to be the hero and to say that he can rally the international leaders together to come and fight Hamas as well, and that he stands with Israel with a common foe. So, interesting. There's a lot to unpack there. And again, as being a candidate, who he is, we have to look at it from that angle as well. And we can also see a lot of control being influenced here and flexed over Israel, that she needs to look to them and they will provide a solution to the problem, where actually Israel needs to look to God and move on her own and do what she needs to do to ensure her safety in her homeland. So we'll see how it goes. We understand the Psalm 83 war layout and how that all goes down with the inner ring nations. And we are seeing all those nations come together now and join one after the other after the other. So it's all unfolding and unpacking in front of our eyes. And as much as the world's pushing for this two-state solution, I don't see that happening because no Jew is going to want that situation ever again in their lives. They're not going to feel safe. They're not going to want to go back to their homes. Lots of them are already saying they won't go back to their homes until Hezbollah and Hamas are taken care of 100%. What I do see happening is, and we covered this probably a month ago before any of this started happening, where Saudi was proposing that the Palestinians join up on the other side and they become a whole new nation on the right hand side of Israel. So not in the Gaza Strip. So we'll have to see what goes down and if that kingdom comes together as an option and that will give the Israelis a lot of safety and security, peace and security and unwalled villages and everything which will set everything up for the Gog Magog war which will come shortly after that. So again, what an amazing time to be alive. To see so many prophetic things come to pass in front of our eyes when we get to heaven post-rapture very shortly. We can speak to the prophets themselves who actually prophesied these things and tell them these things were all going down now. I get cold shivers right now while I'm telling you that, just thinking about that. How incredible is that? You who were faithful and spoke for the Most High God, Yahweh, and prophesied these things. We saw these things happening and this is how it went down while we were there. How incredible. For us to be born in a time such as this, ambassadors for God in this world of darkness, praying and spreading the word of God and his light for as long as we're here. Keep looking up. Shalom.